Hey, what is going on guys? I'm Tiger with Tiger Up Comedy. I'm back with another Dokkan Battle video. And today, we are going to be taking on the new Dokkan Battlefield or Virtual Dokkan Ultimate Clash. Whatever you guys want to call it, doesn't really matter. That just dropped on Global. I mean, technically it dropped like a couple days ago, so I am a little bit late to the party on this one. I do apologize for that, guys. But you got to understand, there's been so many things going on for Global lately, which is kind of a weird thing to say since that's not usually the case but there's been so many news videos and so many summoning videos to record that I didn't really have the time to do this one until today but now that most of that stuff is out of the way and it's done with uh, until part two that is uh, we finally are able to do the November ultimate clash or battlefield like I said it doesn't really matter what you call it uh, so we're gonna do it, and honestly guys, I am super, super excited for this one, mainly because if you've been keeping up with my videos recently, um, your boy's been having some really, really good luck on this Dual Dokkan Fest with Trunks and Zamasu, and I was able to pick up a bunch of new units that I didn't have before these banners, and one of them is right here, the uh, Int Goku Black right here is brand new, so I made sure to bring all the new units that I just pulled. So this should be a really fun one, uh, especially when we get to... Um, the teams where we have the uh, Tech Trunks and AGL Zamasu, right? So for this Roshi here, pretty simple. We're going to go with an Extreme Int Team. Uh, leaders, we're going to go with Int Cell and Kid Boo, And then I guess there's not much choice here. So we're going to go with Janemba. Uh, let's go with Bojack. Uh, Buhan, maybe? Uh, sure, Buhan, Frieza, and also Int Goku Black. Okay, so we're going to leave LR Cooler out. Doesn't really matter too much. It is the first fight. I don't really expect to have any issues to be honest until probably until the final fight like until we get to who's the final guy is it boo i think it's boo right it's not jiren we don't have jiren on global yet so i think it's boo unless i'm wrong we'll see we'll find out okay so for this rotation uh, we'll put buhan in the front i don't think it matters that much uh, these guys don't link too well overall, which is a little bit upsetting, so I guess we're not going to super with Cell. Can we super with Frieza? We can't super with Frieza either. Okay, so real quick, just to let you guys know, I don't usually build these teams myself. I just let the computer decide, like, I just do, like, auto, and then uh, for this time, I just, like, change out a few units for the ones that I just pulled, right? So those are the only changes I made to the... Um, auto setting for the game so the units they gave me don't have the best synergy but it should still be okay I usually there you go there you go 3.2 million crit we're done okay so usually we don't have too many issues even just letting the computer do auto selection I actually don't know how they auto select the characters it's just like is it just like your units that have the highest attack or is it something else like just like by recent or something like that. I don't really know. I don't really know. Okay, so first clay, first clay, first stage cleared. First stage cleared. We got 10,000 memory. Awesome. Working my way towards uh, that Krillin. I actually have one copy of him, but I still can't awaken him yet because I don't have enough the, of the, the metals, right, to awaken him. So definitely saving all those for him. And now we have the physical 19. He absorbs all key attacks, right? So we have to build a team that avoids that. I don't know if I can actually. Yeah, I don't think... I mean, I'll, I'll bring this guy, I'll bring these. So these two, I believe, have physical attacks. Um, but then for the rest of the team, it's going to be interesting. Because all these people have... No, no, she has a physical attack. He has... He also has a physical attack, actually. I, th I think so. And she does too. Okay, so it's only these two that have key based attacks, so they're not gonna do any damage. Actually, they're gonna heal him, so I'm gonna try to not super with them. Uh, like I said, it's a completely auto team um, done by the computer, so it's not the most optimal, you know, group of units, but I think we should still be okay. I think we should still be okay. Okay, so it looks like Rose has to super regardless, like no matter what we do, Rose's gonna be supering. Oh no, actually Rose has a physical attack. I'm getting all confused right now, man. I'm pretty sure Rose has a physical attack because he starts off by um, treating the clones and then the clones like beat up the enemy first. And then, I mean, the scythe could be like a key based thing, I guess, but I don't really know. I don't really know. Either way, I think this is going to work. Okay, it does work. It does work. I totally forgot. 
My bad, my bad. And Janemba, I'm pretty sure, has a... Oh, actually, Janemba might not have a physical attack. Yeah, he might absorb this one. I think he does. Oh, he does it? Interesting. Interesting. Okay, okay, okay. I guess that's... That's, that's fine with me, man. That's fine with me. Yo, I, I was, I've been, like, talking about this whole key physical thing, like, back and forth this whole time, and I don't think we have to worry about it at all, because I think that 21 is just going to take care of him. I think with this next attack, he's actually dead. So, we're good to go. We're good to go. All right. Um, <laughs> let's, let's move on to another topic so I look less dumb. Oh, no. 21 has... No, but Broly should be good, right? Broly should be good because he he punches the guy first. Yeah, there we go. Okay, so um, we're gonna move on to another topic because I feel like I look pretty dumb right now for that whole back and forth discussion with myself. Uh, the mustache. All right, one thing I do want to mention about the mustache is uh, because some people have been pointing it out, right, and like comments and stuff, and also in my stream yesterday, a lot of people were like, "Yo, Tiger, why are you growing up like facial hair, man?" And uh, some people were like, "You know what? I like it, man. I like the change of pace." And uh, other people were like, yo, that's gross, man, shave it. And you know what, I see it from both perspectives, all right? I do see it from both perspectives. Um, some people like it, some people don't like it. My girlfriend personally, I mean, my girlfriend personally, she told me yesterday, uh, Taya, you guys might know her as Android18, uh, she told me yesterday that she's not a big fan of it, which uh, made me a little bit sad, but you know what, I do understand, it's okay. And uh, if you guys don't know why I'm growing out the mustache, it's because it's uh, November, right? And for November, there's something that we do in, well, some people choose to do at least in, I think, North America. I don't know if it's like an international thing. I do know it happens in Canada and also I'm pretty sure in the States as well. I'm not 100% sure, but definitely in Canada where I live. Um, it's a thing where in November, some men choose to grow out facial hair to promote awareness for um, prostate cancer, which is something that, um, you know, affects a lot of men later on in life like middle-aged men and later on so um definitely something that i do want to support of course i think it's a good cause and uh, it's also just a good excuse to try something different so i'm gonna keep this at least for the rest of the month i don't know if i'm gonna keep it after because Taya, Taya did say she doesn't like it i told her yo just just hold tight all right it's gonna grow on you it's gonna grow on you but uh, right now she's not a big fan of it so uh, we'll see how it goes. I know some of you guys are like, yo, your face looks weird, man. And may maybe they thought that before I started going the mustache anyways. So I don't think it makes that much of a difference. But <laughs> either way, I'm not going to shave it until November ends. And once November ends, then I'll decide from there. All right. So we still have two weeks to go. We still have two weeks to go. Just bear with me, guys, if you guys don't like it. So for the people that do like it, then uh, enjoy, you know? <laughs> And you know what, let me know in the comments down below, I know super random has nothing to do with this video, but uh, let me know what you think about this new look, alright? Do you like it or do you not like it? Either way, I'm keeping it, but I'm just curious about your opinions, because obviously your opinions do matter to me. I'm not going to change what I'm doing if a bunch of people say they don't like it, but um, it does matter to me, nonetheless. Alright, so we are done with Nova Shenron, who's next? I believe there's the same man. Actually, I'm a little bit worried about Saiyan Man, because I didn't bring a specific team to like stun him or seal him. Or Yeah, it's Saiyan Man, okay. So if we just actually take care of him really fast, right? If we just kill him with like a lot of damage before he can super us, then we don't really have to worry about him too much. So I'm going to go with Super Saiyan 4 Vegeta as the first lead. And then for the second lead, obviously I'm going to go with Super Saiyan 4 Goku. Um, LR Vegito. Actually, we can probably stun, right? We can stun with the uh, Super Saiyan 3 Vegeta. Uh, Gogeta. I would bring LR Beerus, but he doesn't have the best synergy as far as links go, so we'll go with uh, Namek Goku. And who should the final guy be? Um, I guess we can go with Jiren. Why not? Just for that extra chance to stun in case the Super Saiyan 3 Vegeta doesn't stun. Okay. But I don't actually think we have to worry too much because I do think that will kill him just like with a crap ton of damage. Okay, uh, here's the dilemma. Should I... Mm, should I save these? Should I give these orbs to Super Saiyan 3 Vegeta for that chance to stun or should I give them to Vegito for the Ultra Super? Hmm. 
Actually, um, yeah, no, I have to give him these. So uh, we can at least do a regular super with Vegito, and then we can also super with Super Saiyan 4 Goku. Um, hopefully the stun goes off, and then I just don't have to worry about it. Because if you guys don't know, if you guys are like newer players, maybe just joined recently. Uh, oh, didn't go off. Damn. <laughs> the uh, Saiyan Man is super, does like crazy amounts of damage like literally if, if if you're not using a tank against him uh he will super you for like 400 500 000, i think maybe more it, it depends on the unit depends on the unit but sometimes if it's against like a really you know weak unit or like a not tanky unit you can do like hundreds of thousands of damages when they ko you so uh that's why i'm a little bit concerned here we do have a lot of attacks stacked up in the beginning uh, let's put this guy here. Um, okay, he can super. That's perfect. And uh, I mean, I don't think we're actually gonna get supered. Uh, from my experience, he doesn't super you until. Ooh. Oh, we're still alive. Okay. No, I was gonna say, yo, from my experience, he doesn't super you <laughs> until the third turn. But clearly, that didn't happen. Uh, are we gonna die? Are we gonna die? Oh man, this this is gonna be rough if we die. Uh, Jiren's gonna be the one that's. Oh, okay. His, his okay. So his supers do no damage. That that's 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 a good thing. That that that's amazing. His supers don't do damage. So as long as we kill him here, which I think we will, because we do have the ultra super going. I'm gonna actually give give these that that one orb to Vegito and then these to Vegeta so we can get his ultra super as well. And we should be good to go. We should be good to go. Okay, additional super. This should do it. I mean, not kill him, but this should this should stun him at least. There we go. We got the stun. We're good. Okay. No, we had to scare for a second. We had to scare for a second. I was like, he's not gonna super me here, is he? It's probably not gonna super me. And then he decides to super us. Of course, of course. But. We didn't look bad because we survived, and now we're moving on to the next stage. Would have looked really bad if I died. I would have freaked out a little bit. I mean, I did have quite a few STR units left, so I think I still could have taken them out with the second team. But uh, I would just, I would like internally, I would have a mini freak out. I'm like, yo, if I can't, I have to stop here in this video. I'm gonna have to like re-record, man, because there's no way I'm putting out a video where I died against say a man. All right. Okay, so. <laughs> Let's move on. Uh, we're facing a extreme AGL type. I think we still have our extreme tech team here. Uh, we do. So uh, let's go with this. Let's see. Okay, so Super Saiyan 3 um, Broly, he is a 30% lead. So let's go with him. And actually, I don't know why I'm choosing because those are my only options, right? <laughs> okay, here we go. Cooler. It's reminded me of that SDR cooler on JP that I want so bad, guys. You know, if you guys haven't been paying attention to JP, there's a new STR cooler um, that is just ridiculous. Like, he's just so amazing. And um, probably, my, probably my most wanted Dokkan FS unit now um, that's available, that we know about. You know, like, there is still the Piccolo that we don't have. There's still, like the Fizz Piccolo, there's still the Int Future Gohan. Um, I don't know if I'm missing anything else in between. I don't think so. I think it's Fizz Piccolo and then Int Future Gohan and then STR Cooler. And STR Cooler by far is the, the best one out of the three. Like by far. I mean, Int Future Gohan is really good too. I'm sure Fizz uh, Piccolo is good as well. I haven't been keeping too much tabs on him, so I'm not 100% sure, but I'm sure he's solid. But uh, STR Cooler is just on a different level, guys. He is just in, in a class of his own, seriously. Like, he's, he's insane. So, if you're thinking about, like, something to save towards, um, and you don't want to, like, uh, you know, mismanage your stone spending, especially if you're a free-to-play player, uh, I would say that's definitely one to save for. Like, the STR Cooler, definitely, definitely good one to save for. I'm not saying don't spend any stones between now and then because there's is there is gonna be good stuff in between, right? Especially if you get like a especially yeah, especially if we get like a um what do you call it? A step up banner with a guaranteed LR at the end. Definitely summon on that. Definitely summon on anything that's like a really good deal or really good value. But uh make sure you save some stones. 
make sure you save some stones for STR Cooler, because he is 1,000% worth it. It really is. Okay, uh, we... Mm, oh, we can super here. We can super... Oh, for a second, I was like, we don't have the orbs. We do. Okay, so he can super. And... Not for him. But it's okay. I think, actually, the black and then the Zamasu supers should be... Should be it for cooler. Maybe. Should be close, at least. Oh, yeah, no, he's dead. <laughs> he's definitely dead. All right, 1.1 mil. Let's get a crit here. End it off nicely. And we don't need a crit, really. But a crit would be nice. There we go, 2.2 mil. And he is dead. All right, moving on to stage three now, guys. Or level three. I don't know why I'm acting like this is a big deal. It's really not. Like, <laughs> Battlefield, if you're a newer player, is very challenging. But for people that have been playing for a year and a half, two years plus, you really shouldn't struggle too much with this one. Um, they haven't made it hard enough to the point where like you know most veteran players are struggling so yeah it's not a big deal it's not a big deal wait I, I have heard people say that Bardock is pretty tough but there's nothing really that there's nothing really about him that seems to be that hard you know like in my past experiences fighting him I haven't really found him to be too difficult he reduces damage which is fine nullifies super attack ceiling that's fine disables attack reduction that's fine um does he super multiple times in a turn maybe maybe but still he doesn't do that much damage it's not like he's doing say a man numbers right i don't know i don't know either way let's jump in and obviously we're gonna do fizz extreme fizz we're gonna use extreme fizz so let's go with uh, super fizz instead and the super fizz team is uh pretty nasty it's pretty nasty so we're gonna go with obviously super saiyan 3 gotenks uh lr gogeta i believe is the best secondary lead i have and let's go with lr trunks um there's a lot of choices let's go with let's go with android 17 transforming vegeta who else do i want to bring um vegeto i guess and vegeto blue or Ken Goku. Let's go with Trunks. <laughs> Let's go with Trunks, that little bit of support. I don't think we're gonna need it. I don't think it's a big deal either way, no matter who we bring. But yeah, I just, I just, it's a habit, honestly, guys. It's just a habit where like I always want to bring at least one support unit for a team if I can, because it just feels right, you know. Like having, um, as far as what, as far as team building goes, for me personally, like my kind of go-to composition usually is uh, four units that link well for two rotations, right? So like two pairs of units that will be in, on the main rotation. And then for the rest of the units, I usually like to bring support. So I, I bring up to uh, two or even three support sometimes for uh, my teams. Because sometimes for the uh, for the two main rotations, you're using the leads for both rotations, right? So you really only have to bring two more of your own units to link with those guys. And then for the rest of the team, you're just looking at supports all the way. So like for all the rotations, you're always going to have a support at the end. Um, I kind of like that. It just makes me... It, it just feels right. Like I said, it, it just feels like um a good way to build a team but that's just me maybe you guys think that's weird maybe you guys have some other methodology for team building but that's what i like to go with i've heard some people say actually that support units are useless which i totally totally disagree with because um they just make your whole rotation hit so much harder you know right like even though they don't hit that hard themselves that's not even true anymore actually now take that back i take that back now, these new support units are like super hard hitters themselves, and they're also amazing supports. Just look at the um, the last two Dokkan Fest units actually on JP. The Int Future Gohan and the STR Cooler are both really amazing supports, but they also um, can hold their own, like tanking and doing damage. So you can't even say that support units don't do damage anymore because they really do, man. Some of them hit really, really hard. Just look at STR Cooler. Just look at SDR Cooler. It's crazy. Um, but yeah, that's my opinion. Just I, I know nobody asked for it, but there's not really much to talk about here as far as Battlefield goes. So uh, we got to find other topics to talk about, right? So now we're going to take on Gohan. I'm excited for this one. Like, really excited for this one because we can use my tech trunks that I just pulled yesterday in my collab with my boy, 
Oh, the Hermanity. Go check it out, guys. I'll put a link in the description. Or maybe if I forget, I'm, I might forget. I'm probably gonna forget. If I forget, go over to the channel, click on the video with uh, my face and my boy Scott's face beside me. It's a really, really fun video, guys. Uh, so for this team, we are gonna bring... Uh, who's the main lead again? Super Saiyan 3 Goku. Um, secondary lead, we can go with... Um, I guess LR Super Saiyan 3 Goku. We'll go with Go Goku and Frieza. We'll go with the Go Bros, even though they don't, they don't link the best. Uh, obviously Trunks. And Vegito Blue, maybe? Sure, Vegito Blue for Super Saiyan 3 Goku. And then also Bula for support. There we go. Looking pretty nice. Looking pretty nice. Yo, Gohan, you're going down, man. You're going down. Once again, I'm talking like it's actually a hard event. It's it's really not that bad. Okay. Uh, oh, I didn't realize. Oh, I forgot he locks us. Okay, that's fine. Should we go with this? And then he can take those. And can we actually get an Ultra Super? Oh, we can't. So if that one into orb wasn't there blocking the tech ones, we could have probably gotten like a 24 key super off. But it, it's no big deal. It's just going to take a little bit longer than it had to. Totally fine. Guys, let me know in the comments down below if you guys continue to summon uh, when we got those top grossing stones because we did get them last night. Maybe you didn't log in yet. If you haven't, log in right now. You'll be met with a really nice surprise because last night at 1 a.m. Eastern Standard Time, I was still up. Um, we did get our top grossing stones that I was talking about in a previous video, and uh, it was 50 stones as I predicted. It was... Did we get Elder Kai's? I think we got like... No, actually we got 5 Sleepy Kai's I believe. So 5 Sleepy Kai's or Dozing Kai's, whatever you want to call those. And uh, a bunch of AGL orbs, some tech orbs, and I think a couple of character slots too. Could be wrong about that though. Uh, maybe character slots? Potentially character slots? Oh! Damn. Yo, having Super Saiyan 3 Goku at the beginning would have been so nice. That's okay though, that's okay. We're gonna save all those tech orbs for him. This is gonna be a really, really clean super right here. 24 key super from your boys. One dupe, Super Saiyan 3 Goku. As you can see, Trunks not doing a ton of damage, but that's okay, <laughs> that's okay. Um, that's not really his job right now. Uh, once he does transform into his final form, he does a pretty crazy amount of damage but previous to that he's not the strongest but it's okay in his second form actually especially uh, like after the three turns when he transforms he becomes a really really good tank when you stack defense so that's kind of his like main use and if you want him to hit hard you, then you'll use his active skill so that's what i really like about the trunks actually he is very versatile as a unit right if you want him to do some decent damage but mostly like tank really well then you keep him in a super saiyan form if you want him to just like hit really freaking hard, be a really amazing nuker, then you use the active skill, uh, give, I, I, I don't know, I forgot what they call it, like enhanced Super Saiyan form or whatever, then uh, with the Spirit Sword, then that's when he hits really hard, right? So you, you kind of have an option, you have, you have the choice to uh, play around with it. Okay, so for our second last fight, we're facing Hit, Extreme STR, we're gonna go with Super Saiyan 4 Goku, um, who's the other lead again? Uh, I, I mean, I guess we could go with Vegeta or the transforming Goku, it doesn't really matter. Both Vegeta, Gogeta, uh, SSBE, Super Saiyan 3, and for the final unit, let's go with Mighty Mask. I feel like Mighty Mask gets a lot of disrespect from a lot of people, calling them the worst LR, the worst summonable LR at least in the game. Not true. They hit exceptionally hard guys let me show you let me show you can we get a 24 key super here because they give themselves a lot of key okay so they didn't, give them, they didn't give themselves that much key this time um what if we went like that and okay we can, we can still get the 18 key super off that's nice and there we go okay get ready for some Pretty impressive numbers. I mean, it would be more impressive actually. It'd be a lot more impressive if they were under 170 leads. So don't necessarily take this as a um, complete showcase of what they can do. But they do a lot of damage, guys. They really do, and they're they're really good in the sense that they're self-sufficient for key because they give themselves a random number of key. I think up to like six or seven or something like that, and they're just really solid. 
that's really solid. I, I don't like it when people disrespect Mighty Mask like that, because they're nowhere near as bad as people say they are. Oh, also, uh, physical trunks too. Yo, when I pull fizz trunks on streams, people are like, ah, oh, gross. Yo, rip, like, <laughs> so sad for you. I'm like, yo, don't be sad for me. Don't be sad for me. You have no idea. If, if you're saying that, you obviously don't have fizz trunks. Because Fizz Trunks is a monster on the right team, man. Future Saga, Hybrid Saiyans, um, like all those teams he's on. It's, it, it basically, if you have him under a 170% lead, and um, I'm, yeah, you don't even need anything else. You don't even need dupes in him because he already has a high chance to crit. He already has a high chance to crit, so he's going to be critting at any dupe level, right? Um, he's a beast. He really is. He's, he's a beast. So yeah, put some respect on Fizz Trunks, put some respect on Mighty Mask. I can't say too much about LR Bardock because I don't have him, but I know he's also good. I know he's also good. Now these three units, okay, here's the thing, when you compare them to like the most top tier LRs in the game, maybe they're not there, right? They're not on the same level as like LR Kale and Khalifa or LR Goku and or Gohan and Goten or um... You know, even the LR Super Saiyan 4s, they're not on that level. That's a different tier. Oh, LR Kale and Khalifa, the best unit in the game, of course, uh, according to truth. <laughs> you know, they're not on that level, but regardless, they're still really good compared to like most of the units in the game. Okay, so this boo now is Extreme Tech, which obviously means we're going to go with a Super Int team right here. And uh, looking pretty nice, looking pretty nice. Okay, so we're gonna go with Vegito, we're gonna go with Gogeta, we're gonna go with LR Gohan. Um, should I bring the Battle or Super Battle Road Goku as well? For actually, I don't know if this, I don't even know if this boot can be stunned actually. I don't remember. Let me check. Uh, immunity to being stunned. Okay, so he can't be stunned. Okay, so he's probably not the best here. So we're gonna go with once again Gogeta, uh, Vegito, or no, Vegito, UI Goku, Super Saiyan 3 Bardock, Gohan. Uh, definitely Kid Goku because I just got him. Although I kind of want to bring. You know what? Okay, let's let's go with that and Bodo Magetta. All right, he might be a bit of a liability, like the, like the tiniest bit of a liability. Wait a second. Did I not bring Zamasu? Wait, um, oh, maybe there wasn't a fight where I had to use Zamasu. Oh, maybe... Yeah, no, because I, I definitely remember putting Zamasu in my roster for this battlefield. I just think that there wasn't an enemy that required extreme AGL. Yeah, that's too bad. That's too bad. Alright, um, so we are going to put uh, Gogeta in the, in the middle, because he is definitely a liability here for defense. Um... And hopefully that one attack in the middle is not a super. All right, that's crossing my fingers. I'm praying right now that super is gonna do so much damage to us if it is a super. Uh, ideally, we get supered when it's on Vegito, as he is the best tank by far on this rotation. And I think on this team actually too. Um, I think he's probably the best tank on this team too. Okay, so we're not getting supered. Not getting supered in the first slot. Please don't let that one attack in the middle be a super, man. Oh, that'd be the worst luck. Oh, okay. Okay, so th there was a pause. I was like, oh crap, we're screwed. No, it's just the additional. We're still safe. We're still safe. We're still safe. Okay, we're still safe. Good. You like Goku getting supered? Still isn't ideal, but not the end of the world. He has some defense. Um, if you look at the comparison though, like when I when I clicked on the characters, uh, Gogeta has like 20,000 defense right now. <laughs> UI Goku at least has like 60k-ish. Okay, let's see what's going on on this rotation. Um, not, not much. <laughs> not much is going on here. Uh, let's play Kid Goku here. Can we at least, we can at least super with him. And, uh, we're getting pretty good luck with orbs actually. So, there we go. Everybody is supering even though the links didn't work out too well. Ooh, we're taking a normal hit for 76 damage. This is a no dupe kit Goku, by the way. Zero dupes. Doing pretty well here. Getting supered. I'm a little bit worried. But we're only taking 89k? Oh, that's fine. That's fine. Okay, for comparison, the dupeless 
uh, Kid Goku got up to about 900,000 attack, whereas my 2 dupe, or maybe 3 dupe actually, my 2 or 3 dupe Super Saiyan 3 Bardock had less attack. So uh, offensively, the Kid Goku is quite good, and he, I mean, he, he goes back and forth, right? When you have high HP, he's a pretty solid damage dealer, pretty solid attacker, and then when you have low HP, he gets more defense but less attack, so it becomes a pretty decent tank, which is which is good because that's really when you need the tanking the most, right? You need the tanking, oh, hold, hold, hold on, hold on, uh, <laughs> let's go with this, let's go with that. All those attacks, definitely a little bit worried about them, um, although I feel like I'm probably going to get supered in the beginning because that's just how it goes. But, um, no, statistically, it's more likely, obviously, that one of those 5 million attacks at the end is going to be the super. So we're going to put Vegito there, but uh, as I was saying, what was I saying? I completely forgot. Oh my goodness, okay, well, <laughs> I guess that's the perfect way to end off this video, guys. <laughs> I have no idea what I was talking about. I completely lost my train of thought, but um, either way, we're done Battlefield. Level 3 cleared. I'll be back to clear it two more times, probably just like on my own time, off camera. But as far as today's video goes, uh, pretty smooth sailing, guys. Pretty smooth sailing. As you can see, 49 characters remaining. And uh, I would show you the battle history, but you guys already saw the video. So if you guys want some insight into how I beat it, you can just go back in the video and check out each team I used. Not the most optimized teams, honestly, not the best teams I could have brought. Uh, like I said, I just did auto, so uh, I probably could have done some better synergy with the teams, but Battlefield is at a point where it's not really that hard, where I have to put that much effort into team building. So generally speaking, I just bring um, the type advantage team. I use my extreme teams first and then my um, super teams later, because my super teams are basically Basically all of them are better than my extreme teams, and uh, for that reason I want to save them for later, right, for the harder stages. But that's it guys, that's going to do it for today's video. Let me collect all my stones and my rewards here to see how many we have. 140, so we got exactly 30 stones for this battlefield. I think, I think that is pretty standard, yeah, 30 stones for battlefield, not too bad. We do have some other events coming. Uh, especially for part two for the thank you celebration so expect a lot more free stones on the way maybe top grossing again for part two as well once the lr super saiyan fours and the lr go bros banner drops and uh, that's gonna do it guys thank you so much for watching today's video i hope you guys enjoyed it i uh, hope you guys enjoyed me talking to myself and uh, almost dying to say amen and uh, as always if you guys enjoyed today's video make sure to like the damn video and if it's your first time watching me first time to the channel and you like what you see then definitely hit that big red subscribe button to join the tiger squad now and while you're at it hit that notification bell too so that youtube knows you want to stay up to date with all my latest content and that's it i'm out of here until next time i hope you guys have a fantastic fantastic day I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media, signing out.